Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you a journal that I've completed. Uh, this journal is for a private swap that I'm doing um, with Charlene and um, she is a member of the Junk Journal Junkies group. <clears throat> um, so we'd agreed to, to do a swap. I've already received mine. Um, we agreed at the end of this month. Um, but Charlene was quick on the go and <clears throat> I've got mine already. Um, so that's me just finally finishing this. Well, I think I've finished it. Um, absolutely loved making um, this because I'm just so into using all these papers and um, vintage images at the moment. So <clears throat> again, enjoyed doing it. It's a clasp envelope, um, so it's soft cover. I've used um, the, um, is it Simply Jane and Jane something, or Jane Story from Dreams Etc. I've also used um, other kits um, and I will shout them out as I go along. I've put this lovely um, lace trim here and it's been, um, it's got like a green velvet uh, trim going through the middle of it because um, there is some kind of green bits highlighted um, on the paper that I've used for the cover. Seam binding closure and I've just tied it in the middle like that. I think I might add a, a charm or something to this but this the seam binding is literally just dried. Um, I've done it just with the one um, eyelet and, and that's only because I want to keep this open as a pocket <clears throat> and all do a flip. So let's see if I can't, well I can do this without knocking the tripod because I'm good at doing that. Um, the inside cover is a pocket and I've just got a um, plain tag in there with some ephemera that can be journaled on. And that goes in there. Love that paper. So you could actually journal on there as well. <clears throat> it did kind of morph out of control a little bit. It's only one signature and I can't remember how many pages are in it. Um, we've got a a tuck, not a tuck, that is a tuck, and it flips up so you can journal on there. There is tags that have been stamped on uh, vintage lady images and I've backed these onto a dictionary page and some cardstock. <clears throat> uh, this is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. I can't remember what kit that is actually, I'll have it here somewhere, let me see. Um, <clears throat> Oh, it's these. It's an add-on to Loving Sweetness. <clears throat> so I've got a doily and a tag and somewhere to journal. There's plenty of places to journal, even though I think I went overboard decorating it. This was just a bunch of paper that was left over from cutting something down. So I just stapled it in the middle and I've pushed that down. And I just put one of the tabs on there. To decorate it slightly and that just goes in there there we go wobbling this around already um, this is from the kit from dreams etc um, made a belly band and added this lace and I got that from Melanie Barnes thank you Melanie um, some vintage images here that again I found via Pinterest this is from the kit and these are just some stamped tags, done some stamping, got some trim going on, made a side top tuck there with um, a scalloped edge. This is a really nice page. Um, I flip up there with a flower and some tickets, another vintage image and it's been backed onto, um, what do you call them things, index cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, this is what the paper was from because I um, used one of the on the edge dies and to get this on the edge shape, <laughs> um, and that was the paper that was left over. And another tag, some gritty paper. This is one of the large index cards, and they're five by eight. Made a an altered paper clip here, and these have just all been backed onto the index cards got a butterfly, some eyelash trim and some bling there. Another tag here. Love the paper. I didn't really cover the paper up. Here I made, and I still got to do a tutorial on this, um, it's like one of the backless envelopes that I make and it saves, saves you some paper. Um, <clears throat> an index card which is in there. 
and inside here I've just got a large index card which has been coffee stained <clears throat> Ooh, it's a bit snug struggling behind this tripod another one of these there's lots of places to journal on that put a bit of lace there and that you can actually tuck things inside there as well these were the um pockets that I made using the tutorial from um Patricia I can't even say it. Patricia <clears throat> can't remember her surname now it starts with a V um she's been trying to find like a million different ways of using all the book pages that we all end up with after gutting all the books and so I made some of them it's got some lace here some paper um flowers that I made with the tattered floral dye, some <clears throat> crocheted um, doilies and some buttons here and some eyelash trim. This is, find that online, it's not from any of the kits. <clears throat> um, doily tuck here, so it's a double doily tuck actually, you could three times, a triple doily tuck. <laughs> um, same here. There, just a little banner there from some of the scrap pieces. Tag, it's got some music notes on it. That's from the kit. So is this. Just a little tuck with um, some lace trim on there. Centre of the signature and it's got some butterflies. Some more of the flip up tucks. Love that image. That was the last of that trim, so I put it on there. It looked really pretty. <clears throat> Another flip up. Got a tattered floral flower going on there. Um, lots of tarts, lots of tags, lots of journaling spots. Now I'm not. I'm going to ask Charlene if um, she wants me to wait to post the video of this or. Can I do it now? So we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> she may want it to be a complete and utter surprise, or she just doesn't have to watch the video. Altered, not unaltered. Um, this envelope has just been, I didn't coffee dye it because you can find in this type of envelope, when I coffee dye it, it always, always tears here and here. Don't know what that is, don't know why. Someone not all the envelopes that I've got do that, but this brand does. So I just inked it up, done some full stitching, a little bit of stamping. And then behind here, it's got a journal card which has been inked up. <coughs> Excuse me. Some stamping, index card, gridded paper, uh, another tuck with tag and ephemera. Another one of these from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Some lace here. And I got this from Andrea. Um, and she sent me that way back last year. And that is the last of it. She sent me tons of it. Um, so I've managed to use it all. Because it's a really nice dainty trim. And ideal for the size of your pages. These are just altered. Um, well pocket envelopes or envelope pockets <clears throat> as a doily tuck there so it's a triple one again so you can put like there 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 um, tag another one of these and it just tucks in there Butterfly bling and eyelash trim. Love that paper. Another one of the um, pockets using the book pages. Just added some uh, lacy bits on there. Crochet doily and a button. The anatomy of. I don't even know what that says. I haven't got my glasses on. What does that say? I don't even know if what that says. <laughs> I'll probably be able to read it when I look back on it. <clears throat> Just stamping. Um, nearly at the end. 
another one of these pockets with um, another one of the large journaling cards that just slips in there. I don't know if you can actually see it, but that kind of only goes to there, the back of it. So you kind of save a little bit of paper, which you can make some altered paper clips out of. <laughs> um, just seems a shame to, if you're making something like this, to use all that paper that you're going to glue down and not going to see. Um, another one of these. And you can tuck loads of things inside there. Um, index card in the back of there. And that's quite deep, so you can put things in there. The back page, that flips up and there is room to put things in there. And that is the back. So I really hope that Charlene likes this. I'm sure she will. Um, I really have enjoyed making it. Um, and I'm hoping to get this off and post on Friday. Um, <clears throat> got lots to be doing, and this is this is probably one of my last journals um, this week because I've got so much going on next week, and I probably won't see my craft shed for a few weeks now. Um, and I'll be itching to get back in here. <laughs> so if you've got any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching. Bye.